back, my amazing artists. This week, we're going to be reviewing some of those things that we have been talking about the last couple of weeks. So we're going to be doing lines, like straight lines and bumpy lines. And we're also going to be doing some cutting and gluing today. So what are we going to make? We're going to make some beautiful spider webs. So to create our spider webs, we are going to be drawing lines across our paper. So you can choose to use black crayon, black Sharpie, and actually a white crayon gives a really cool effect, but it's a little hard to see. So I'm going to leave that up to you if you want to try a black crayon. All right, so to start my spider web, I need to pick some place to put a dot. I could do a dot in the corner and have my lines come out from there. I could do it in the middle. I could do it lopsided. So let's do one from the middle. All right. So the first type of line we're going to review is a straight line. So around your paper, coming across from the dot, I want you to do some straight lines. All right. So now we're going to connect every line by making a jump. So we're going to do a bumpy line. Ready? Bump. I might have to turn my paper while I do this. Bump. 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 All the way around. Bump. 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 All right. We're going to do it again. Bump. 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 And we're going to keep going until we finish our whole paper. All right, my spider web is done. So we need to add some color. So you can choose. You can color in some of the spots. You can make what we call a pattern. You can do like blue, purple. And then I'll repeat and then do blue and purple. I could, I'm going to show you the really cool thing that white does. I'm going to add some designs. I'm going to do some stars and some stripes. And I know you can't see it right now, but when I color it in, it's going to look amazing. How about some polka dots? That always adds a cool effect. Oh, let's repeat those lines. Let's do some zigzag lines. That looks pretty cool. And striped lines. And, oh, let's do a couple more stars. Got a nice big star right here. And now I'm going to paint the rest because I like to paint. So now I have my paints ready to go. I got my water, my paintbrush. Okay, so... I need to wet it first, so I'm going to pick a color. Let's do some orange. It's Halloween's around the corner. Let's make some orange. When I paint, I hold it like a pencil, and then I brush back and forth and back and forth. So I could do a pattern like orange. When I change colors, I got to wash it off, brush the side. Don't tap because that's going to splatter. Pick a new color. Let me do black. Let's see what that's going to look like. Oh, look at that. My white crayon showed right through my black paint. It appeared like magic. All right, I'm going to continue painting. Before it dries, I want to show you something really cool. If you have just plain salt at home on your kitchen table, when you pour it into wet paint and let it dry, it makes the coolest effect 
you can see that it's already starting to spread and mix. And when it dries, it makes like white little stars. All right, so I'm gonna let this set on the side to dry. And then we're gonna come back and make our spiders. So while my painting is drying, I'm gonna start on my spider. So I'm gonna get my paper packet out and I get to pick a color and a color. Um, I could use some of the scrap paper I used last week. So a couple weeks ago, I should say. I'm gonna pick orange. Orange reminds me of October and pumpkins and Halloween. And so that's what I'm gonna use. All right. So if you are using a full sheet, you really do not need that much. So I am actually going to put it in half and save that for a rainy day. Keep that aside. All right. So my spider, what shape would a spider be? Well, I could do just a circle, which is pretty easy for me. So I'm going to do that. So that's going to be my spider body. And then we're going to cut it out. Thumbs up, scissors out. And I'm gonna cut right on the line. Okay, so now I need some legs. So how many legs does a spider have? Well, normally they have about eight legs. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and chop, 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 all of them off. There they go. All right. I got some legs. I got my body. Let's make it look like a spider. I can do some eyeballs. Hello. Sometimes they have more than two. I can make some eyes around them. Make him a happy spider. Maybe he's got some shapes on his back. That looks kind of cool. Maybe he's one of those scary, scary spiders. All right, let's add some color. All right, so for my legs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue just the end onto my spider like that. So do I need a lot of glue? No, I do not. So twist my glue, dot, dot, not a lot. When I'm done, I close the top, twist, twist, wipe, wipe. And now my glue is good and tight. That's a, from last week we learned. And then... I gotta hold it and let it set. All right, I got one leg. I've got eight more. Now, do I wanna keep them straight? Cause sometimes they've got creepy crawly legs. So what I can do is I can bend it, squish it. And now I got kind of a stringy type of leg. So I would do that before I do any other gluing. All right, I'm gonna keep going. There's my spider. I am so ready to glue him on. So now my painting has pretty much dried. Those salt droplets, I don't know if you can see, gave a really interesting texture in. All right, so now it's time to make it my own and glue my spider down. So I'm gonna decide where do I want my creepy crawly guy? Do I want him in the center? I like how that looks, so I don't wanna hide that. How about right over here? Okay, so. Again, dot, dot, not a lot, dot, dot. If you want, you can use a glue stick. That's totally fine. And then find a spot. We're gonna do it this way. Okay. And so how do spiders make their webs? Well, they make their own type of string. So if you have yarn at home, you can do that. You could also use glitter. You can draw your own. That's one of the best things about art is that you can find things around your house to help make your art look awesome.
All right, so this is how I would do the yarn. Put a little bit of glue. We get a line of glue. And perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I gotta let this dry. If I want to add some glitter, I could maybe trace some of my lines. And then get a little shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And then what I do is put a little scrap paper under it, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. And that's another cool way to make some lines. So I hope you enjoyed creating your spider webs. I cannot wait to see how they come out. Um, and like I said, if you want to add string or if you have glitter at home or if you want to add your own twist on it, that's absolutely fine. That's what art's all about. All right. Can't wait to see it. Bye, guys.